What happens when you text the suicide hotline, when you text 988, this is what happens. Now I live in Idaho. And the reason I have to say that I live in Idaho texting the suicide hotline is believe it or not, this is not something that's regulated. A different call centers operate differently. So throughout the country in different areas, it can operate differently than what the responses are that I get. And the reason I share this is not to bash the suicide hotline, but to bring awareness to it and to maybe even someone who will make a big difference and a change to it. I lost my wife in 2015 to suicide she killed herself in 2017 my dad committed suicide and killed himself 2018 I attempted suicide so this is something that's passionate to me if you never texted the suicide hotline number before this is what happens when you text them so I text the suicide hotline I'm struggling that's it 988 I'm struggling this is the text response that I got back right here thank you for reaching out to 988 lifeline this is the response that I got this Okay. There's no response back essentially. So if anyone's ever attempted suicide before, you know how we are. We are uncharacteristic in some things, but we're also um, one of those that you can see patterns. So a lot of us who have been in dark places before are like, okay, we don't give up necessarily right away. We're going to a text again. So here's what happens when I text again. Is someone there? So I text this 988. Here's my response. This is what happens when I text 988. This is the response that I get. Okay, um, I'm, if you're struggling, I'm not really consciously thinking a lot of this through, but I'm probably still not gonna give up yet and I'm gonna try one more time. I message hello. There is my conversation with 988 through text messaging. Three times I texted. And it doesn't, they don't come back and say, hey, wrong number, text this number instead. Nothing of that sort. And if anybody knows anything about being in a dark place like this by this time, you might have given up and comment your experience and your responses down below because i think it's important to bring awareness to this stuff uh, i've done videos where i do call the suicide hotline because i don't think most people realize what happens when you call this uh, and then i also wanted to show what happens when you text it because i don't think that we just assume that somebody's going to be there we assume that somebody else is going to be there for those that struggle we assume that there is help for those who struggle and this is actually what's there for those that struggle can we make a difference? Yeah, we can. We make a huge difference. There can be better budgeting with the funds. There's over $150 million that is put to the suicide hotline and to the crisis text lines. And I think there's a lot better job that can be done with those funds and a lot more things that can happen with those funds than what we're able to provide now. But that's me and me only. Comment your experiences down below. And if you get anything out of this, you matter. You're more than fucking those responses back. You're a living, breathing human being who's been through 100% of their worst fucking days, and I'm glad that you're still standing. So go look in the mirror, remind yourself that you're a BAMP. You're a badass motherfucker. You made it through 100% of your worst days, make it through two today. And what you're going through will get better. Tell everyone in your life, strangers even, in your life, physical, in your life, that you are struggling. Be prepared for help because they will sit with you in the dark until the light comes. You're not alone and you matter.